Welcome to today's 3D print. Just a super quick quickie. I am printing a sorceress for my mechanic. He liked her and he wanted one of her in the apple green. So that's an 18 hour print at 0.12 millimeter layer. So that'll be a good torture test for the Tiva Tornado. Um, but one problem I'm having with the tornado, and you can see it very easily. You see that? That looks to me like salmoning. Come on. There we go. See that? And it's on both axes because it's on four sides. See? There it is there. There it is there. There it is there. The print is fantastic. The quality is great. The layers look great. I got no complaints except for that salmoning. And you can also see it on the Marvin. You see it on his legs there? See it? See the salmoning on the legs? And it really shows up on the Benchy. Here's the weird thing. It doesn't show up on the hull. See, the hull looks good. Doesn't show up on the front, doesn't show up on the back, but look at the sides. Look at that salmoning. See the lines? You can't feel them. They're so subtle that you can't feel them with your finger, but you can sure see them. And I would really like to make them go away. I just don't know exactly how. I don't know what's causing them. I mean, otherwise, the prints are coming out spectacular. And this is watertight, too, with just three bottoms. I'm very, very pleased, and this color is great. Oh, I love this color. Actually, both these colors are perfect for the tornado. It's kind of crazy coincidence, but this is the 3D Solutec lime or apple green, and this is the Zyro Red that was on sale. That's why I'm calling it my watermelon colors. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the printer itself is pretty quiet, but those fans are noisy as hell. So I'm going to pull them fans out of there and replace them with ultra quiets. The nice thing is, since it's a pass-through, one's an in and one's an out, I can easily replace those without worrying about print speed too much or heat temperature too much because that box is going to stay very cool. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. It's very cool. But that salmoning is annoying. It's so strange, too. It's not on the bow. Look at that. It's actually a pretty low amount of noise, too. Come on. You can see the ringing ghosting around the um, porthole there. It's not horrible, but it is there, of course. Not on this side, though. Oh, yeah, it's over here. But yeah, pretty good bench. Good top layers inside there. It did a nice job. It's got a little hole there because this was using the code, the G-code from my CR-10, which is a 0.97 extrusion. This actually needs like a 1.02 extrusion. Um, first printer I've had that actually needs more, not less. But yeah, cool colors, by the way. These colors are great. It changes shade a little bit when you print single layer. This is a single perimeter. This build surface is surprisingly nice. I like it a lot. I have no reason to change it or modify it, and the bed is stupid level. It, it is so flat that it's extremely easy to bed level this thing. And I hope um, Creality and all other manufacturers do what they did, where you go to custom commands and you can tell it front left, front right, back right, back left. And what's cool is so that it doesn't tear apart your print bed, it lifts up, moves over, and then slowly comes down into position. This way, if your bed is actually too high, you don't drag your nozzle across your bed and destroy it. So, um, very nicely thought out. Of course, they came in second. Creality was first. So they could look at everything the CR-10 did and make corrections as necessary. So you, I'm going to hold them to a higher standard because they got to see the CR-10 come first. But otherwise, print quality is the same. I don't see, besides this having salmoning, I don't see a difference in print quality. And I really didn't expect to see a difference in print quality. I mean, they'd have to be an idiot to release a printer to compete with a CR-10 and not print at least as good as a CR-10. That's annoying. If anybody knows how to take care of that, let me know. I will have a mega print episode soon. 
and um, we'll go from there.